Hello again everyone, welcome back. Well today I'm reviewing a highly anticipated and highly sought after cigar and highly hyped cigar by protocol. This is the new Sir Robert Peel and this is the natural. They're both 6x52, I say both because there is a Maduro version. There's Bob, Sir Robert, known as the uh, father of modern day policing, which is continuing with the protocols police theme. Uh, both uh, bands look identical, except of course the likeness of this wrapper and this telltale gold band at the foot. There is a red band on the Maduro. There is your density. Now, this cigar, I should know this, it uses an Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And these, like all, I believe, protocols are made in the Lozona factory, Eric Espinosa under the helm. This is a sought after cigar, as I said. Uh, these are actually available at Famous Smoke Shop. And if you go to my blog, there are links to these and currently they are 10% off the normal box price of 119. I believe that's correct. Yes, 119.50, 10% off of that. But let's see what the cigar is like. So let's get right to it. The new protocol, Sir Robert Peel Natural. All right, let's slide this little band off the foot here. These have been here about Oh, a good month or so. So they're they're in good shape for reviewing. Now I've had, I think, at least five of these already, and the Maduro because I want to give the best review possible. So I had uh, a lot of them. Okay, the draw is great. So let's get right to it. Well, your first flavors are a nice orange citrus, brown sugar, lots of cinnamon, caramel, cream, nutmeg, and a very nice, earth, somewhat earthy black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven to seven and a half. More along the seven-ish line here at the first light up. There is a substantial amount of cream and uh, caramel to go along with the brown sugar, cinnamon, and citrus notes. It's, it's a it's a interesting uh, mix in that you do get a lot of the cream notes, the uh, citrus and brown sugar and cinnamon don't overshadow them entirely because they really come shining through. So that's how we start. Let's see what happens by the first third. Well, here we are at the first third. How about that for a burn? Oh boy, dangerous looking. Sometimes I do that, not a big deal. I'm gonna put it over the ashtray though. All right, I don't have as much cream notes now, but there's quite a bit of caramel brown sugar, and the uh, the citrus notes have sort of it's sort of a cross between citrus and cedar. Plenty of brown sugar, plenty of nutmeg. The cream that is there is combining with the nutmeg to make a unique type flavor. I guess you call it a creamy nutmeg. 
but the overblown cream notes are not what I had at the beginning. Uh, of course, you got your black coffee base. Finish is very sweet. I'd call it caramel and nutmeg. Nice lingering black pepper. Medium ish bodied, leaning toward medium to full. We're going to start with medium. This is a very nice, sweet cigar. It's uh, a, because of those caramel notes, it gives it that uh, Juan is shooting for, and in, in, in a lot of the um, uh, talk on Facebook is about the regal feel of this cigar. Of course, the band is very regal looking, but the caramel gives it a fancy regal type esque flavor. It's very very sweet with caramel, and, and that and that leads toward that interpretation of uh, the uh, regal or fancy, or I see people say pinkies up, whatever. But that it does have that type flavor. It's very good. First third, I'm rating 94. I am curious to see as we go in stages, because as I sample these, I don't do the review. I'm just getting notes, flavor notes. So uh, by the end of the second third, let's see where we are. the end of the second third and in this second third I noticed an elevation in the uh, coffee notes you still have the cedary citrus flavor nice brown sugar cinnamon caramel a creamy nutmeg and an elevated black coffee base the caramel notes continue to give it a very fancy regal type feel but there was that little decrease in the sweetness, a little bit. The elevated black coffee may have done that. And if so, that's the way it goes. Very close to full body. We're at a high level, medium to full right now. Finish, I'm calling unchanged. But the cigar continues to be very good. But I am going to drop the score to 93 because of that little dip. So let's see what the final third brings. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. In the final third, the uh, citrus cedar notes greatly decreased but the brown sugar and cinnamon and caramel and nutmeg seemed to rise and the coffee came back down to a normal amount so it's kind of a wash full body it's a very definite full body hmm. Finish is sort of caramel and nutmeg, emphasis on the nutmeg. And nice lingering black pepper. Very good cigar. Very regal-ish because of those caramel notes. That gives it a nice, smooth, creamy sweetness in it. That's always good. In this final third, with all the changes and subtleness and this and that, I'm maintaining 93. It's still good. It's still a 93. It's just the flavor notes sort of shifted, changed percentages, what have you, but it's still good. So that will give you an overall score of 93.33. Very good cigar. Very regal-ish. Very worth trying. And as I, as I said at the outset, a link to these are on the blog, so please check them out and get them while they're on sale. Very good price point. So there you have it. 
the new protocol Sir Robert Peel Natural, 93.33.